Like, niggas really thought like I even get niggas who be fans like they be like much love from such and such the PR. I be like nah, bro, I'm from New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought you were from Baton Rouge for a long time. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you know that's because I had to like I switched my style to fit in with them. Yeah, fair. you know what I'm saying? Like I was on some whole other shit. That's why them niggas fucked it with me because when they married it like that, this bitch could do a little bit of everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I had to switch my whole style to even fit in with them. So niggas definitely <laughs> thought I was from VR. But every, that's why every chance I got, if you go back and you listen to songs I was on, nigga, I'm rapping. Like New Orleans, East Side, nigga, nigga. Yeah, yeah I'm, cause, I, cause I'm getting it, niggas. You from VR? No, they don't even look like this out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like them, they well, you know, vibes. And, Probably not they got dreads, but no real talk. When I first went to BR, man, them dudes wasn't wearing no dreads and all that shit. Them dudes, whoa, they call it a bob. It's the afro. Yeah. They got, they well froze and the boosie fade, man. That's about it. I ain't see, I saw a nigga with braids one time out there. Bitch. Other than that, you about to get this boosie fade, this webby fro, you know what I Yeah, you had a pick. You had a pick. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely got to pick which one you're going to get. Because, like, Fat had the Because Fat had the women fro. But he, that's why I say back to that. Shout but he was wearing that, that, that but he was designer shit, though. Shout out to that boy, young boy, dog. Like, when I look at that nigga, I ain't can't see him. The diamonds and the teeth and all that, man. We been doing this shit. Like, when? You did that 10 years prior. Man, like, you know what I'm saying? When a nigga cut their hair, like, Fat died with that, with that new little young nigga look. All them niggas, man, young boy. When you see young boy, man, nigga. But the dopest part about all them giving a shout out, he wasn't even the hottest nigga on the trail ever uh -uh, yet. Uh -uh. So he was, he was all them, he to was be, gonna be something, though. Yeah, man. all them to rap right. for fat, it shows a lot. Yeah, he was the yeah. young nigga. Mm -hmm. young nigga That's because they, they liked it him, but they didn't know how to say it. But, so when he died, it was like, yeah, I've man. been fucking. And also, it looked, it, but it, like fat never had no solo career. Yeah, it was, was y'all career, like it was you fat. He bust out. He bust out the group probably when he did the DJ Khaled mixtape. Okay. And I heard him like, ooh, that little bitch trying to, cause he wasn't never really a good rapper. So when I got next to him, I used to be like coaching him a little bit, like, no, bitch, don't say that, say this, like, I say it like this. Right. But he always was himself. He never like took it like and was trying to sound like me. Yeah. He always made it his way, like, and like I say, I, you could hear it in the nigga. If you knew Fat, I'd just go back and listen to him, bro. That nigga talk like Fat, but that shit's scary to me. I be listening to that little bitch. Yeah, I be listening to that bitch music, thinking that's young. But he grew up on that, like, you gotta think all them niggas. That was a young yeah. nigga first, yeah, first all that died. Yeah, right. So all the young niggas wanted to be like him. Gates ain't gonna tell you, but he definitely tapped into that <laughs> fact when he came home. Uh huh. Shout out to Booby. <laughs> uh -huh.